Okay, we've passed the criteria, we've identified the contract, we've looked at our distinct promises, our distinct performance obligations. Now we've got to look at the transaction price. You think it'd be obvious, but you don't necessarily put what's in the contract. You put in for your transaction price what you expect to get. Okay, and that doesn't include any VAT or anything like that that's owed to third parties. And if it's a variable amount, i.e. not a fixed amount, you put in the most expected, the most likely. Let me explain a bit further. So here you've got a sale of 500 uh, to one person. It's 40% likely that they will pay the full amount. However, it's 60% likely they won't pay you anything at all. You put in the most likely amount, which would be in this case, zero. What about here? Sale of 500, 40% likely to pay in full, 30% likely to pay 450, and 30% likely to pay you zero. The most likely, the most expected, 40% likely to pay in full, you can put the 500 in then as the transaction price. So with variable consideration, you put in the amount you expected to receive.